Gnora's axe is just all around a very good and solid pinpoint slug shotgun. Not to mention it is far more accessible both for new players and existing players, especially if you're not someone that wants to have to run through the trials playlist to acquire shotguns like Inquisitor. Instead, you can casually play Iron Banner to get the role that you want. So starting off the PvE god role, there's really just two roles in PvE that I would recommend. The first being Volt Shot and Threat Detector. Now this is the first time we've ever seen Volt Shot on a shotgun before. Now you might be thinking Volt Shot on a shotgun, but unlike a primary weapon, we're going to use it more for the bonus tick damage. So what happens is when you do get a kill and reload, the next shot you land doesn't matter if it's on a major, minor, champion, or boss, it's going to apply Jolt, which is actually going to apply tick damage that lasts for 10 seconds. And that tick damage is actually affected by what kind of weapon you're using Jolt with. For example, we're using a shotgun, which is going to give us a 2.30 multiplier, which is more tick damage than something like the Aikilos SMG, which gives us a 1.53 multiplier. So you can use this weapon to apply Jolt, switch to a heavy weapon, and as long as you switch back to your shotgun and reapply the Jolt within 10 seconds, you can keep that loop going, giving you that damage multiplier of 2.30. And this does stack with other buffs in the game. Now, this doesn't mean you have to switch to another weapon to take advantage of this tick damage. You could just continue to unload with your shotgun and you'll be able to take advantage of that tick damage on top of the shotgun damage you're already dealing. Dealing. As for Threat Detector, it's going to give us a massive boost to our reload speed, stability, and a handling multiplier just by being within 15 meters of two or more enemies. This perk procs very consistently in PvE, and in my opinion, is going to be the best option to pair with Volt Shot. Now, for the second perk combination to consider, if you do want to use this purely for DPS, is going to be Vorpal Weapon and Auto Loading Holster. The reason why is because you could use Volt Shot and apply the tick damage on a boss, but in order to proc that in time for damage phase and keep that proc might be a little bit trickier to do and not as consistent, whereas Vorpal Weapon is going to give you 15% damage with every shot. Add boss spec on top of that and you're going to be outputting 22.8% damage per shot, which when paired with something like a Pendant Mag is going to allow you to output 159.6% damage in a single magazine. Now the reason I recommend Auto Loading Holster is because if you are going to use this for DPS, you're more than likely going to be pairing this with a heavy weapon or using a dual slug shot on loadout, switching back and forth, and being able to have the magazine already loaded when you do switch back is always nice to have, especially in DPS situations. With that said, if you did prefer, you could still go with Threat Detector. That's really up to you. Now, although I think these are going to be the best two roles for PvE to consider, I do want to give a shout out to one other perk, and that's Surplus. Since this is a randomly rolled weapon, if for whatever reason you can't get Auto Loading Holster or you can't get Threat Detector, then Surplus is going to be your third best option, and you could use that with either Volt Shot or Volpal Weapon until you're able to get a better roll. Moving on to Column 2, again, since this is a randomly rolled weapon, there are several magazines you could go with here. Two of the best, in my opinion, are going to be Tactical Mag and Appended Mag, but if you do get it to roll with flared magwell or even extended mag those are still solid options i know for me though i'm leaning more towards tactical mag which will not only give us an extra shot on our magazine but give us a plus 10 to reload speed and a plus 5 to stability moving on to the barrel for column one typically on a shotgun i like more handling and i tend to lean towards fluted barrel and while that is still a decent option since threat detector is already giving us a handling multiplier i actually think it might be better to go with corkscrew rifling which will distribute our stats a little bit more evenly giving us a plus 5 to stability range in the handling. Now, if you are going to use this more for DPS and you end up going with auto loading holster, then fluted barrel is going to be the better option, helping to boost that handling so you can switch quickly back to this weapon, giving us a plus 15 to handling and a plus 5 to stability. As for the masterwork, it's really going to depend on what you're going to use this for. If you do end up going with more of the DPS role with Vorpal weapon and auto loading holster, then handling or stability are going to be your best option. With that said, if you are using volt shot and threat detector, then reload speed might be the better option. That way, if for whatever reason you're not able to proc threat detector times two, you'll still get a nice boost to reload speed. And finally, for the weapon mod, if you're going to use this more for boss DPS, then boss spec is the way to go. If you're going to use this more for majors and champions, then major spec is your best option. So just to recap the PvE god rolls to consider, in column four, volt shot, column three, threat detector, column two, tactical mag, column one, corkscrew rifling with a reload masterwork and a major spec mod. And for roll number two, I would switch 
top columns three and four for Vorpal weapon and auto loading holster. And for the masterwork, I would switch out reload speed for handling. Moving on to the PVP god roll, the first perk combination I'm gonna recommend going with here is opening shot and threat detector. These two pair really well together with opening shot always being a great perk on shotguns, giving you a ton of benefits with a plus 20 to aim assist, which is especially great on this shotgun with such a low aim assist, not to mention plus 25 to range, as well as improving your accuracy cone size and accuracy cone growth. And threat detector, just by being within 15 meters of two or more enemies, you're gonna get a plus 40 to stability, plus 55 to reload speed and handling multiplier. Now, even if you only get one stack, you're still getting a decent plus 15 to stability reload, as well as a 0.75 handling animation duration. Now, if you're not a big fan of threat detector, I think the next best option is gonna be pairing hip fire grip and opening shot together. What's great about this per combination is that hip fire grip is gonna give you a ton of benefits to improving your accuracy and your stability, as well as your aim assist while firing from your hip. And that does proc with opening shot. And those two paired together can actually be a really fantastic combination, especially if you're the type of player that likes to blint or use a shotgun melee play style. Now, since this weapon does have a low aim assist, I do think there's one more role to consider here, and that's moving target and opening shot. With opening shot, we're already getting a plus 20 to aim assist, which will bring our overall aim assist up to a 54. Add on something like moving target, and that's going to bring that up to a 64 when aiming down sights, which is just four points below another pinpoint slug shotgun heritage from the Deep Stone Crypt, and only six less than the 70 aim assist that comes on the exotic slug shotgun chaperone. Now, although I do think those are the three best rolls to go for, since this is a randomly rolled weapon, if you do get perks like Snapshot or Surplus to roll on this, I would consider keeping it until you can get something better. Snapshot is rather nice on pinpoint slug shotguns, especially if you're trying to get the one hit kill headshot. As for Surplus, this can be a great perk if you're the type of person that likes to hold on to your abilities, and it's a decent substitute for Threat Detector, because even at just two stacks, it's going to give you a plus 25 to your reload speed and handling, as well as a plus 15 to your stability. Moving on to column two with the magazine, since opening shot is already giving us a plus 25 to range, that's going to bring our overall range stat up to a 92. And to be honest, you don't even need to max out the range here. You could go with anything in this column. With that said, I do still think it's worth going with Accurized Rounds here, which will bring our range stat up to a 77. And when you pair that with the range from opening shot, we're going to be able to completely max out our range. Now, although I think that's gonna be your best option, if you are the type of person that wants to build into airborne effectiveness, I do think extended mag could be a great option, especially since airborne effectiveness stat tends to be low on shotguns. That's gonna bring it up to 12. And when you pair that with the Icarus Grip mod, you're gonna bring your airborne effectiveness up to 27, helping this to feel a lot more consistent when you're in the air. And finally, for the barrel in column one, you really could go with anything here. If you are using threat detector, you're already getting a nice boost to your stability, reload, and handling. With that said, for the sake of consistency, I'm actually going to recommend going with Fluted Barrel, giving us a plus 15 to handling and stability, bringing our overall handling from a 65 up to an 80. This is going to help our handling feel more consistent, regardless if we have the two stacks of threat detector or not. And finally, for the masterwork, I think your best two options here are going to be range and handling. If you do end up going with the opening shot threat detector role, I think range is going to be your best option, because the thing to keep in mind about opening shot is it does have a 3.1 second cooldown before it reprocs. So if you're in a situation when you're dealing with more than one guardian, having that extra range can make this feel more consistent when opening shot is not active. With that said, if you do go with something like moving target instead, I would then instead go with a handling masterwork. And finally for the mod, I'm a big fan of freehand grip on slug shotguns, but you could also go with Icarus grip if you want it to be more consistent when in the air. So just to recap, the PvP god rolls, the first being in column four, opening shot, column three, threat detector, column two, Akurai's round, column one fluted barrel with a range masterwork and a freehand grip mod. For the second role, if you're the type of person that likes to blint or use a shotgun melee playstyle, I would switch out threat detector for hip fire grip. And for the third and final role, if you want to bring your aim assist all the way up to a 64, I would switch out the third column for moving target. Well, that's going to wrap up today's video. Thank you so much, Guardians, for tuning in. As always, if you found this video helpful, be sure to smash that like button as it helps me out on the channel. And if you're new here and you want to see more videos like this, subscribe and tap that bell button so you won't miss future videos. Thanks again, and I will catch you, Guardians, later. Later.